In Japanese cities, concrete and asphalt abound. The heat island effect from air conditioner exhaust and heat retained by buildings makes city oppressive. Over a six-year period, there has been a five-fold increase in the number of people needing an ambulance after suffering from excessive heat. To help moderate the inferno, a civil engineering firm in Gifu Prefecture has developed a new kind of paint. This is a wall that has a special paint, but it looks like an ordinary painted wall. Embedded in the paint are tiny beads the size of a grain of sand. This reduces by almost 90% the heat that buildings absorb. We compare temperatures on the roof partially, covered with beaded paint, and an unpainted area. It was 36 degrees on the unpainted area, but 24 on the area with beaded paint, a difference of 12 degrees. Here is how it works. The beaded paint deflects sunlight away from the surface and back towards the sun, so the building absorbs much less heat. With conventional paint, building walls reflect sunlight onto other buildings and the ground, causing them to transmit heat. But with the beaded paint, reflected sunlight will not heat up the surrounding areas. Towns without trapped heat will become cooler. Scores of orders have been pouring into the paint company. Offices, schools and factories are among those using the new product. Anyone can be a do-it-yourself painter because it's just paint. It's very easy to apply and extremely effective. That's the benefit of this paint. Last year, this restaurant painted its walls and roof with the new paint. The interior used to be so hot that the air conditioner did not help much. Now it's a different story. If you touch the wall, you get that cool cement feel. It's not retaining the heat. I'm delighted that our customers can sit and eat in a cool place. For many years, Professor Kenzo Iwao of Nagoya Institute of Technology has been researching how to use reflection to moderate the heat island effect. The professor came up with these blinds. In winter, the black side faces out, absorbing the sun's heat. In the summer, the white side faces out to deflect sunlight. According to Iwao's estimate, if 20% of a town's sunlight can be deflected, the temperature drops by 2.8 degrees. For example, by increasing the reflective power of a parking lot on a department store rooftop, thermal energy will not collect in the town, causing it to be cooler, one degree for each degree of heat sent back. One obstacle to reducing heat in cities is traditional tiled roofs. Many Japanese homes have black tiled roofs, which do not reflect sunlight. A large tile manufacturer in Aichi Prefecture has been looking into how to solve this problem. At first, the team developed white and lighter colored tiles with high deflective power. However, the Japanese did not like the colors, so the tiles did not sell well. Next, the team developed a highly reflective black tile. With their innovative glaze, the tiles deflect invisible infrared rays. 15% of the sun's light is bounced back. Roofs using the new tiles were 12 degrees cooler than those covered with the slate often used in Japan. We thought it was extremely important to retain the Japanese aesthetic of the black tile and also to avoid the heat.
Will we be able to make cities cooler? It depends on innovation and new technology that deflect sunlight and their widespread acceptance. Wakana Hashida, NHK World.